the best truck. His fancy pickup became a hot truck, as in boosted, jacked, taken. Stealing brand new vehicles from outside the factories in which they were made. And one automaker seems to be getting hit especially hard. 2022 Ram trucks swiped right off a lot in Shelby Township. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Okay, guys. So it's no secret. <clears throat> so I'm just getting over uh, SARS, H1N1, I don't know, chlamydia, whatever it is. Getting over some shit. Anyways, we know that Hellcats, TRXs, Durangos, Mopars, they're very easy to get stolen. And they've been getting stolen quite frequently within the last year or so. Ship in Africa or something like that. So luckily, the Taser DT has now released a feature that is going to help prevent this from happening. It requires using a pin. The pin is a sequence of uh, basically using up and down arrow, left and right arrows of your choosing to enable that to deter someone from stealing the truck. What happens is when that's armed and you go to start your vehicle, every time you go to start your truck, you'll need to enter this pin. That also includes if you're using your remote starter, which is still a great feature. Hop in, set it all up, get your pin together, and you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this set up now here. Uh, as usual, uh, we're going to scroll down to our radio settings. If you haven't seen my previous video on setting this up for your vehicle, please check it out. I will put a link in the description as well. It'll just kind of show you more of uh, the Amber DRLs, turn signal cameras, stuff like that. I know previously for the 21s, everything worked great, but there were some issues on the 22s and 23s. But all of that should have been released uh, today, I believe. So anyways, we're going to go right into this and hopefully figure this out. This is a live setting, so the vehicle is running, and we are going to navigate to go through here. Yeah, we don't really care about that brake hold. In motion off, turn cam off, kill honk, parking camera, auto fold, Amber DRL. Let's set our pin. So we are going to use our plus, our left, and our right arrows to set up the pin here. Okay, so I did set the pin, um, and I'm going to show you here. So we're going to go to start the vehicle. So right now when the vehicle started up here, it's flashing the uh, the four ways and a few other uh, lights as well here. It's almost doing a light show. So I'm not going to put the pin in right now. And we're going to let this count down. And we're just going to see what happens here when we do let it count down. All right. Pin is locked. Our ABS is flashing here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in drive. The vehicle is in drive right now. <clears throat> I will take my parking brake off. And uh, as you can see, we are in drive there. And uh, I'm not able to actually move the vehicle. Brakes are engaged. Everything is fully engaged. Fantastic. I'm very happy with that. Let's put that back in park. And I'm going to put my pin in now to see if this works. Perfect. So I inputted the pin that I had selected. And it did work. And just for an example here, um, my pin was hitting the cancel button twice here. So now that we know that uh, that feature does work, let's see if it does work with our remote starter as well. Okay, we're going to go and just remote start here. Let's go enter the vehicle. Sitting in the truck, remote start active. We're gonna hit our run button here. Once again, we are being prompted to count down for the pin again here. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna let it go all the way down. Then we're just gonna hop out, look at the lights going off. Is that really necessary? I don't think it is, but I'm gonna do it anyways, you know? Light show functions. So this is just doing a uh, complete countdown here. Um, and then we'll just review kind of what we did again. Perfect. ABS locks up everything there. And uh, yeah, it's still going off. And you know what? Sorry. We're going to put it back in the drive here again. The vehicle's not in park, not letting me go. Also, because the door's probably open as well here. Sorry. I'm just all over. But, anyways, back to park, back to drive. Can't go anywhere. 
We should have a light show that should be happening right now as well. We do. We have the lights all going off here. This will hopefully alert somebody to what's happening in the nighttime as likely when these vehicles are being uh, stolen here. So we're going to hop back in. We're going to input our pin here. And to do that, for mine once again, just an example, was your cancel button twice there. So I'm going to put this back in the park. It shows that the pin has been unlocked as I hit my uh, sequence of buttons here. And then we are able... I always use my parking brake because I'm there like that. We're able to move around. Okay, back in park. Let's uh, review here. So one thing I did notice is uh, I did lose some of my other live functions as well. So that included the auto folding mirrors, uh, turn signal cameras, motion camera. So I did go ahead to enable them. And uh, once again, we're just gonna go back through this menu again here. Uh, and once once again, if you need to look at the controls you need to use, just check out my other video there. I'm having a real hard time figuring out how to hold this damn phone and uh, navigate through here and successfully do it without it looking like crap. In motion, so I did enable that again, along with my turn signal camera, along with the uh, parking camera, which I find is really useful, uh, especially in drive throughs I mean, I could drive, but just a couple times I've almost hit some shit. All the folding mirrors is on. Amber DRLs is on for day, which I'm going to double check for that one. But I'm also just going to go ahead and reset that pin again, just because I did change it up a bit there from what I had before. And then it shows you your sequence there again. So now that pin has been saved, and everyone saw the pin again. So anyways, um, the feature works really well. I hope this video gave you some input on what you need to do for enabling that security feature to hopefully help save our vehicles from assholes. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for checking my video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, do some shit, subscribe to something. I don't make no money, but there's possibly one day that I could. But thank you guys very much. Peace. My apology, guys. I prematurely let you go. I'm premature at everything I do. Giggity. So uh, a couple uh, different things as well. After you uh, do implement these changes, you are advised to do a reboot as well and a couple key cycles. So I'm just doing a reboot on the unit. And the key cycles, what that entails is uh, shutting the vehicle off, wait until your screen goes dark, meaning your screen on your dash there. Uh, wait about a minute for that. Open your door, repeat that cycle uh, two times, and that should help reduce any kind of issues. The issues that we've seen have been the dead battery. Generally, when guys have problems with the tasers, is because they're doing a function on the taser, and they're not doing a reboot, and they're not doing things to, uh, to key cycles, things like that. So that's when you run into problems. So make sure to follow all that. I'll just drop a, a picture on there as well to show you what you need to do, and uh, you should be good to go. All right, thanks.